when I was forced to use their motherboard, it exceeded all my expectations of stability, compatibility, not working out of the box and not the BIOS. They can work on that. But in terms of overclocking headroom and all that shit, and hassle, completely exceeded my expectations, dude. Okay, so I had this combo on pre-order, right? And this motherboard here, the X670E Hero here in Canada, it's fucking like $950 Canadian, dude. And 900, dude, 930 shipping. So this is fucking 900 and eighty dollars i have this on pre-order okay although by the way fuck new egg dude i'm getting my refund on that shit 980 dollars okay now so my shipping got delayed again yesterday i had my wife waiting outside the fucking house for the truck okay that's how livid i am at this point so livid i am i'm like dude the Purilator distribution center is a 20 minute drive from my fucking house, dude. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. So they missed my house twice. Okay. Nobody, no truck came. No truck drove past the house. We waited outside for two fucking days. No truck came by, right? So anyway, also performance PCs. I ordered those, um, those copper RAM blocks, the bits power ones performance pcs had those at my house in less than a day and new wagon pure later can't figure it out in seven days anyway just i'm never buying anything from i'm never buying anything from new egg ever again dude so anyway i get the notification that it's been delayed by another day right i'm like i need to go i need to just go to the store and just buy one i'm done with this shit i don't care anymore right um i like i like using new egg because they take paypal but at this point i don't give a fuck right right so anyway i go to canada computers they got two things in stock everything else is sold out they had a 7950x which obviously i picked that up right and then they had um gigabyte it was like an ax elite x670 non-e right non-e so not the dual chipset one and then they had a gigabyte ax extreme this was $400. This was $999 at the store. So I'm like, well, I've already fucking already $980 in for this motherboard. Let me see what the feature difference is between these two motherboards. I'm, I'm at the store. I'm Googling, right? And I was like, just hang on. I'm going to make a decision. Let me just don't sell either of them until I figure this fucking shit out, right? So I'm Googling on my phone, right? And then um, I'm like, what is the difference between these two really like what is the difference for this for this 500 dollars? you know what the difference was 10 gig lan and pcie 5 gpu slot one extra gen 5 nvme drive that's it I, I had to do like a fucking three and three or four takes of that shit, right? I'm like, that can't be it. That can't be. This board here has 16 lanes of PCIe Gen 4 for the graphics card. That's perfect. You don't need Gen 5. There's no Gen 5 graphics cards, right? Um, it still has three slots. Same lanes on the other two slots. Same memory topology. Not the same VRM, but who cares about that, right? And not 10 gig LAN. And only one NVMe Gen 5 slot. Well, the choice was fucking clear for me on that one. I'm like, uh, give me the cheap shit, right? Law of the cheapest model. Buy the one that does the thing. This, this doll, this board for 500 more dollars. Now, here's the other thing that I was kind of unsure of, right? I'm like... I'm like, 
what if this one has more more layers what if it'll overclock the memory better it's a four dim maybe it won't overclock memory as well but then i'm like the chips the the io die the fabric won't go that high anyway so who cares right i'm like mental i'm like mental gymnastic gymnasticsing myself in the fucking store while i'm doing all this shit right panicking just stress the fuck out because my shipment got missing and all this shit right anyway anyway so i'm like let's go gigabyte i'm like let's go i'm like i'm like i do not buy gigabyte products i'm like i'm like dude dude i'm like i don't buy this shit i don't touch gigabyte products with a fucking 10 foot pole okay i'm like i'm like gigabyte this is your one chance i'm like Newegg, so the stars aligned for this shit, dude. Newegg fucked me over. Pure later fucked me over. The store has nothing else in stock, which means that nobody bought these boards. MSI and Asus and Azrock were all out of stock. Nobody bought the, the gigabyte boards, right? These were in stock. So I'm like, I need to, I need to get benchmarking tonight. This is your one chance, gigabyte. Let's go, right? So I bought the cheapest X670 board that I could fucking find, dude. The cheapest one. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of this motherboard, okay? Pros? Everything. It just works. No, I wouldn't put this, actually. Hang on. Um, everything. Um does what i needed it to it looks way better in person than it does in the pictures the pictures look like ass cheeks dude um x670 ax elite look at this this looks terrible but when i took it out of the box i was like oh yeah that's the gigabyte I remember. It's all like gun medley and shit. Like, dude, it, the picture is so bad. Um, I might have to do some B-roll of it with a proper camera to make it really show. It looks so good in person, dude. I'm like, yeah. So as soon as I took it out of the box, I was like, okay. Plus one for visuals. Plus one. It looks good, right? I like my dark gun metals. Not too much RGB. Uh, I'm a fan, right? Metal, um... Metal DRAM slots. It's good. I'm happy, right? So anyway. Then. Um, cons. I'll let me do cons here. Cons. Um, the BIOS. Still dog shit. I couldn't couldn't find shit. <laughs> like, dude, like, as soon as I launched the BIOS, Zen 4 has like 10 more voltages to deal with. I'm like, oh my god, dude. Um xmp did not work out of the box oob not even at 5600 um can't find a way to unlock more than 1.435 volts like the like um so on this board I'm not sure if it's a BIOS revision or what have you, but no matter, I tried three different sticks of memory, no matter what memory I put in there, it will not allow you to go over 1.435, like the JDEC DDR5 voltage, which ended up not mattering anyway. Uh, because I have like that super DDR5, I put that shit in there, put it at 1.435, and I got it to 55 nanoseconds anyway. So you don't you don't even need that much voltage, right? Because um my my chip maxed out at 6400. You don't need to go to like 7600 or like 7000 on this platform. So this at this didn't end up being a hindrance whatsoever. So I don't or maybe put that in the pro category. Because the, the DRAM chips just don't get that hot, right? So this didn't end up being a con whatsoever. It's just it's just um, PSA for anyone who wants to buy this board. Or it could be... A, I had to flash the latest beta BIOS. Could be beta BIOS shit. 
Like, I don't know if this is related to that. Maybe they'll unlock it in the future. I don't know. Or if it's like a physical limitation on the board. I have no fucking clue, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that, that I found that I could not do. And I went through every single sub menu. There's no unlock for this shit, right? But did not stop. Check this out. 6,400? No problems. Zero. On a four dim. Stable. VRM doesn't get hot with stress tests. It posts really quick. Not that fucking 10 minute shit that we saw. It's 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 a it's longer than Intel, but it's not like um like I would say like 60 seconds. Who cares? Right? Dude, gigabytes killing it. I dude, I so I'm 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 fucking around with this thing, right? And I, I I was going into it so skeptical of the of a gigabyte motherboard. No problems. Uh, the, the, this um, XMP not working shit wasn't really a deal breaker for me. It probably will be for the mainstream, but this is also probably just a BIOS a Gisa thing too, right? I had to actually go in there and manually do every single voltage one by one. But then once I actually did that and dialed it in, 6400 on a four dim. It's crazy. So why the fuck would I buy a hero for $980? This board did everything. So this this um Gigabyte AX Elite will max out Zen 4, no problems. For $400. Just buy this. Just go buy this fucking thing. If you if you spent more money than this on a motherboard, you just got fucked. There's no point. Unless you need more slots or something like that too, right? G dude, Gigabyte killed that shit, man. I'm really impressed with it. So this is the pros and cons of the motherboard, right? They have the best value 4090 on paper, right? On paper, I don't know, but on, on paper, they have the best value 4090. And when I when I was forced to use their motherboard, it exceeded all my expectations of stability, compatibility, not working out of the box and not the BIOS. They can work on that. But in terms of overclocking headroom and all that shit and hassle, completely exceeded my expectations, dude. So I might just end up being a, gig a gigabyte fanboy soon here. I have... Um, I have the um, 4090 gaming OC on pre-order here in Canada. So when I get it, I'll have more information about that. But now I just might do a, gig a gigabyte build, dude. Gigabyte motherboard. Gigabyte fucking... Just, it ended up being that way. It ended up working out that way, right? When you chase... It's like we could do like value chasers, right? When you chase value... um. That's the goal, right? It just ends up working out that way. Uh, let me catch you up here. Trust me when I say I did not go out looking for gigabyte shit. I avoid gigabyte like the plague. It just... Results are results, man. If something just works, I can't be like, fuck this company. That shit worked, man. And it works well. They fucking killed it. Uh, let me catch you up here. Yeah, their BIOSes are bad. But... but, but but it doesn't doesn't matter though. Like, does it really matter? It's like the BIOS is bad. It works, man. Sure. Like, like it's not. I wouldn't not buy it now, right? Because look, look at the fucking numbers I got out of my 7950X. Look at the fucking numbers I got out. Of, so I don't care. I'll. I would. I would rather take a bad BIOS but get the performance I want than an Asus BIOS. That's why I go MSI too. Asus has the best BIOS, but I don't purchase based on that, right? Who cares? Gigabyte was just not good the last couple of generations, man. They had that like water block that was like aluminum plate with like zinc plating that just like completely destroyed people's loops and shit. Um, their Z490 and Z590 boards were complete dog shit. 
like you roll with the punches right you don't never commit to a brand right yeah that's what i'm saying you never commit to a brand right and it's you know what sucks um i would have never discovered this motherboard if newegg didn't fuck my order up right and, um and I, I i don't have the funds to go and test every single motherboard generation every single platform either right so this was a sheer fucking fluke that i actually found this complete fluke right usually i'll buy like one asus board and one msi board like i have an i have a z690 unify x and then if a z790 apex i would grab that one and then i would have kind of two samples for alder lake and raptor lake right but this was sheer fucking luck dude sheer luck that i found this if you know what i would do i would i would be okay getting motherboard samples i think just because you don't want to go and buy a whole bunch of motherboards it's a complete waste of money and the, it's hard to resell them after but it would be nice if i could just get one motherboard from each vendor each gen just to see what they fix and what sucks right this is canadian though right what is it newegg.com can canadian pricing is so fucked up guys i i wouldn't i wouldn't i don't know i wouldn't base anything like someone tipped like someone bought a sub and it was like but undamaged or somebody it was like nine fucking dollars canadian for one sub it's brutal dude it's brutal our dollar is dog shit um x670 elite oh elite yeah this is not bad dude 289 like if you go to micro center like here so here's here's the here's the interesting thing right if you go to micro center and you pick this thing up you get a free kit of ram the 7950x look it's all sold out what the hell is this yeah i th i think people went just the cheapest board route back order oh it is a back order look at that yeah this is the goat dude this is the am5 goat right now right 400 canadian doesn't look good but 289 american i yeah because you still you still get the gen 5 nvme i would want that right the gen 4 pci express lot who cares about that right um i will see you guys on saturday and stay tuned for the uh the zen 4 benchmarks because that shit you're gonna want to see that shit